No, I this creeping into the 30s around about last week, bro. It's all fun now at the moment, but like once you start getting on the other side, then you start getting close to the 40. <sighs> I, yeah. I thought, I thought hitting 30 was going to be a lot more depressing. I was definitely ready for it. I was definitely yeah. sick of 20s. Like, yeah, yeah. Do you know? Like, all right, it's a number and all that. Like, but I, I stopped feeling in my young 20s at my young 20s. Like, yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? I often, I felt older yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. Do you know sense. what I mean? Like, and I couldn't wait to kind of, not couldn't wait, that's a bad way to put it. But you know what I mean? I've seen people have, cr- like a, cri- I won't call it a midlife crisis because you're only 30. Yeah, yeah. But like a it third of the way like crisis. Fuck me, kid. They start changing their face, yeah, changes yeah. their fucking attitude, yeah. everything. Yeah. like, And they get very down on themselves. Yeah, I yeah. know a girl that lost all her hair because of the pressure of the leaving sort. Yeah. <laughs> so, people <laughs> so people deal with shit differently, kid. They do, boy. Don't they? They definitely do. Jesus Christ, like, sure, I was smoking tea at the break during the fucking leaving sort. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And, uh, like, yeah. I could have been the junior sort, kid. I might be making up quite, like... I won't even go on about it anymore, but don't stress about your <laughs> don't stress about your leaving cert that much that your hair starts to fall out or or the yeah. age you're getting to. Yeah. Do you know? Hit it nice, boy. Feel that age and, and be the best of that age. There's nothing more cringe than seeing someone acting younger than they are. Like. Mm. As well as that, there's people that act older than they are. Mm. And that can also be equally cringe. Like there's guys there now like that I, I know and they're being like way younger than me, but like every way they're talking to you is nearly down to you. Mm. You shouldn't be like that, don't yeah, know. Yeah. You know. This is what you should be doing. And yeah. What the fuck do you know, kid? Yeah. You know nothing. Like yeah. You've been acting like this since you're 10. Because yeah. all you've been hanging around is all men. Like, do you know what I mean? So you... The balance. I know what yeah. black barrel. Um, <laughs> fuck everybody. No, I agree. Well, yeah. you know what I'm trying to vote. Do you know? Yeah. You just act your age, not your shoe size. That's all I'll say, guys. Yeah. And it's 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 an old saying, but yeah. just act it and uh, feel it and embrace it. And don't be stressed. Show him only a month after you, kid. I'm there giving you advice. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. be 31 now next month. Yeah. 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 But what else were you waiting for? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like what else were you waiting for? Yeah. Yeah. You know? No, I've, I've made my peace with it. Yeah, yeah. Made your peace. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, time waits for no man, unfortunately, kid. Time yeah. waits for no man. Yeah. I was actually, I was going through money or morals, and I didn't think of that many, but one that was kind of funny. Would you do this, right? So, for... <laughs> right, okay. So, for a once-off payment of 10 grand, and you only get it once, you have to have flames on the side of your car forever. No. Wouldn't you do it? No. I knew you wouldn't do that. No. I totally would do I that. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> do it for nothing, kid. Man, if someone... Tr- Where if, am I going to put so, these if someone has the skill to get a man his car, he'll, he'll let you throw him on the car. <laughs> oh, you remember I had an old... Uh, do you remember the BMW coupe I had? Yeah. It was a cool looking car, like, yeah. but Jesus, the problems, lad. The problems. Yeah, yeah. I was going into the garage and you'd be like, yeah. fucking delighted to see me. I'm yeah, like, what's yeah. wrong with it today? Yeah, yeah. It had no <laughs> it had no fuel gauge, folks. This thing, I had to yeah, put a tenner yeah. in every time I felt yeah, <laughs> like it needed yeah, a tenner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a tenner into a BMW <laughs> as well. Do you know what I mean? The big boy with the BMW keys, he throwing them up in the counter, like, and he throwing a fucking tenner into it. Uh, I honest to God. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed, boy. <laughs> Couldn't even get to the next bump. Yeah. Like, got to the counter. Your man thought he was filling a jury can. Like, he was looking for, <laughs> a, for, for his lawn or <laughs> like two you liter petrol. <laughs> 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 Lad, you could honestly, if you actually just ex- just to put your foot down harshly just once like you watch the yoke go down lad yeah, I couldn't yeah. believe it would break my fucking yeah, heart to yeah. watch it like you know yeah. fuel gauge didn't work pretty sure the heat didn't work but yeah. look I look cool while yeah. down a fortune you got laid I got laid yeah. Yeah, I didn't even get laid but <laughs> fucking nah <laughs> I, uh, but do you know what it was it was an experience I feel like everybody should buy a shitty car for themselves and realise it like, that's, you know it, what that's, I mean? that's if you come out the other side and you've learned loads about cars because you've been through it all but did you like what you I didn't about? learn anything about cars per se right. but I learned never to buy a fucking BMW right. coupe yeah. <laughs> that's 10 years old and the fella fucking uh, giving you it is smiling laughing at you yeah, and he's yeah. handing you the keys like yeah, yeah. oh she, yeah. she'll run alright lad she'll <laughs> run away don't, don't worry about her oh NCT kid it was out of NCT two years <laughs> two years <laughs> like any man to buy a car that's two years out of NCT yeah. you either need to be a mechanic yeah, or you yeah. need to know your shit yeah, like yeah. he was there even selling it to me he's like it needs that done and this done yeah. and I'm there oh yeah, yeah all yeah. the bells and whistles yeah, yeah. no <laughs> bother kid I, get I drove <laughs> I didn't stop at a garage yeah, but yeah. I remember getting stopped by a guard I was coming down from Cork 
And it was literally, I was only 21, 22, fed up with the car, probably with life as well. Do you know? It was one of those I seen a checkpoint and I'm like, fuck them. Fuck them. Wh- what else can they take yeah, off me? Yeah. What's half and nothing? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Come at me like, do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Pulled up to it anyway with a face like, take the fucking car yeah, off me. Yeah. Go on, be cheeky because yeah. I'll stand out and you can you can cheek away. I ain't give a fuck about this car. <laughs> I ain't give a, it mightn't get me home, kid. Like I said, there's you a few. You try to get it back. You like, try to get it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your problem now, yeah, man. Yeah, give him the yeah, logbook yeah. and Before everything. Like, it, like, yeah. Yeah. He stopped in anyway, by and he went over to my discs, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then looked into the <laughs> <laughs> looked into the car, took another look at the discs, because he couldn't fucking yeah, believe yeah. that a fellow would have the nerve yeah. not to do a U-turn yeah, <laughs> when he yeah. seen this checkpoint. Like the he just peered, in this peered in the window and I have the cheek to say, Is there a problem, officer? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you've uh, you've nothing. And <laughs> <laughs> I said it isn't short. I had to go to the glove compartment to pull out. Like I didn't even put up the disc yeah, for the yeah. insurance. Like couldn't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah. And uh, he was there looking at the insurance. Sure, the tax hasn't been done. I'd say 2002 was what the tax said. Yeah, and yeah. fucking Mary McAleese was the president when the NCD <laughs> was done. Like you know what I mean? There was a fucking punt. <laughs> the punt was in it. The, the bribe for your man. <laughs> he said. I said, what's the story? like?" And uh, to be fair to him, very sound. Very, he could have taken the car off me yeah. on one hand. I goes, to be honest, lad, yeah, I, I was like, I'm actually, uh, things aren't going great for me right yeah. now. And taking this off me, it wouldn't, it wouldn't bet an eye. Like, yeah. So take it off me if yeah. you want. And he just kind of, he stopped for a second. Yeah. Couldn't believe what everything's happened. He goes, all right, but you're obviously in a bad way, lad. Do you know what I mean? I go, and then he just goes, don't ever let me catch you. Like, get yeah, all yeah. that sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't ever yeah. let me catch. Oh, he yeah. said, I might as well be talking to a cat because I didn't have my license either. <laughs> he goes, he goes, <laughs> just do it. Hold, like, <laughs> <laughs> you go on about cars. Like, is, I isn't, know. Isn't this dude I a know. gentleman? Like, honestly, I'm God. telling you, if you're out there, dude, I'm so yeah. sorry, lad. I take it all back. What a nice guy. But you know, you can tell a lot. But it was in me. Yeah, Whatever yeah. I was was happening, you could yeah. hear it from my voice. You could hear it from everything. Yeah, that yeah. No, it wasn't going to change anything if you yeah. took this car off me. Yeah. Like. But the, whatever was happening to you would have been happening to you in, in a local period of time. And like two years out your NCT. Yeah. Do you don't give a fuck about the rest of us? We all have to follow the rules, pay for what our What do you NCT? mean give a fuck about the rest of us? So the yeah. rest of you don't give a fuck about me, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here fucking struggling with this thing that has no fuel gauge. And fellas, <laughs> <laughs> and you're all there wanting something from me. I have nothing. <laughs> so for <laughs> Oh, lad, it was bleak. Yeah. Bleak times, lad. But I, I remember the kindness of that, lad. And actually, do you know what? A week later, that car broke down in the ma- in the Cork Road. I was going to ask you, what poor soul oh, did you pass her onto? Like? Best day of my life, this said. I passed it onto. Yeah. There's no one passing yeah. onto. This thing yeah, fucking... Yeah. It was over. Oh, yeah. So, I was uh, coaching kids at the time. And, like, basically, this BMW was just filled with 40 footballs, jerseys, kids shit everywhere, right? And uh, driving up to a game anyway. And me and my little brother were there. And the thing just... The thing just stopped. And I was like, sure, we just put a tenner petrol into it. <laughs> do you know we should be? We do what we usually do. Yeah. We should be okay. Up next to the halfway house up near Cork. Pulled in just after on the hard shoulder. One of the parents of the kids came collecting me. We went up to the match. He said, look, we'll sort it out after. Like, do you know what I mean? We got to go to this match. Like, Even though this car is a black BMW in a hard shoulder at night time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is... When I, yeah, <laughs> when, yeah. When I think... <laughs> <laughs> yeah boy so this is why I'm happy I'm having a girl not a boy anyway right so we went to the game lost the game came back car was gone kid man was high fiving me and everything boy he goes this is the best thing that could have happened you boy is that car getting robbed because your man was telling me the kid in front of his kids and everything seemed like a love he goes I know he was telling me on the way back he goes kid get rid of that car he said I know fellas that will run up and burn that out for you tonight like yeah. do you know what I mean like, and I was like is that an option he goes is that an option I, he was like, and his kids in the back he's like dude you have to do this <laughs> your life would be so much better like yeah. I was like I was there contemplating like I was yeah. like yeah maybe we'll just fucking burn the shit over the car <laughs> in the car <laughs> <laughs> the Cork Road, right? And um, crazy, so, like, crazy like, shit, crazy. boy. And uh, so went to the match, came back. Car was gone, kid. We were like, fuck it, chat. Probably got robbed. I left it. Go- like, this is how lax I was. I didn't even ring to find out where I was. Reported stolen. Anything like that. Got a call two days later in on the Sunday. Anglis's Garda Station. Street Garda Station. Like, is this my... G- <laughs> it is. Who am I speaking to? <laughs> Garda fucking such and such. Yeah. You lunatic. Yeah. Do- 
did you leave a black BMW <laughs> and send it to fucking Rokin? We had about 80 calls in Friday night about this fucking lunatic leaving this fucking... You didn't even leave your embers on, kid. Like, come on, like, do you know what I mean? I said, where is this? As if I'm only coming up, yeah. getting the keys off. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he was talking I didn't really want to meet him anyway do you know what I mean I don't want it like you're already disaggressive about it so I don't yeah, really yeah. want it he was like dude hey, like do you know yeah. what I mean you're fucking you could have wiped out a family bro yeah. do you know I was like alright kid like fuck me <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. <laughs> give me, give me, where am I getting this? He goes, it's in Little Island, mate. It's in Little Island in a pound, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, you can go look at it if you want, as yeah. if it's a puppy that's yeah, fucking, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. that's taken off me and I can go say hi. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I get to Little Island anyway, get dropped up, and, uh, Shem, I, I left something illegal inside the car on top of that, lad. Something illegal and green, okay? <laughs> About 50 euros worth <laughs> of, of Shrek's lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, and this, like, this is this is this is like, do you know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, I gotta get to this car, but they're charging me two hundred quid a day since it's been inside there to get it out. By the time I've showed up in Little Island, they're looking for like a G to take this out. I goes, kid, yeah. the car was broken down at the side of the road. <laughs> it needs to be fixed, yeah. and whatever you, is going to be two grand. You want yeah. me to give it a grand just to look at it? Yeah, like. yeah. I said, can I just? I said, I have a lot of footballs in my car, which I did. Trek's lettuce was needed to be got as Which well. is more important. And he said a guard wanted to talk to me about it, so I needed to get the fucking devil's lettuce out of the car immediately as well while he's talking to me about <laughs> it. And I'm sure if they opened the car fucking door, they would realise there was a lot more to find from yeah, the yeah. scent that would have came out of the car. It's like, yeah. we need to talk to this 21-year-old BMW driver. And uh, he goes, look, boy, I, I can let you... In. I'm not supposed to, but I can let you go over to your car. Like, you haven't given me anything. Like, I goes, what, what if I just leave it here? What if you can just have it, like... He goes, well, then it don't cost you anything. I goes, okay, here's the keys. Let me take everything out of my car. Uh, went over to my car, got the devil's lettuce, got the two bags of footballs, looked at your man, gave him the nod. He said, a guard wants to talk to you. I said, I'll be back. And um, yeah, never heard anything more about it, boy. Never, never, and that's the story it's of my black BMW, lad. And it's how a brilliant story. I didn't yeah. realise it was such an epic ending to that. Yeah, but I completely <laughs> forgot about the devil's, devil's lettuce and the amazing, golf compartment. Man. That's a, that's a cracking story. Nice. Um, what I don't do that anymore, Gertz. Hmm? <coughs> what was what? What did you take away from it all? What was the? What was the? Other boys will be boys, lad. <laughs> boys, will be, boys will be boys, boy. Like literally, like just leave it off, like. Yeah. There's no point telling the fellow. Yeah. Like you can tell people, like you can give. But some, but I, I do not think the guy, like when he was in the phone show, like he, he was thinking, like someone has to teach the young fella because obviously. He thought that was acceptable what he done like so he's thinking like I, I gotta try get it in a phone call that's all I have. I didn't know. think it was acceptable. I wanted to burn it out, Gary. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I wasn't gonna leave I'd it there. I, I'd have dealt with it. Shame. Yeah. It would have been ashes by Saturday morning <laughs> if you fucking left it there. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, and I would have been up at a rake a grade. Never mind Little Island. Like, yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? Ah, for fuck's sake, lad. That's a but story. do you know what? People try pass wisdom onto people. You can't tell. You can't give anybody wisdom, boy. You People can't. are like, I give wisdom. I give. Yeah. You gotta learn that mm. shit, boy. You gotta yeah. feel that and learn it in the moment, yeah. like. Because my dad was looking at me most days, like I was, I was a fucking idiot leaving the house, driving that BMW. Like even when I came home with it, like he was like, "You're stupid, boy." Yeah. yeah? And he used to have this look at me the whole time. <laughs> and now that I'm older, I realise what yeah, that yeah. look was yeah, like. Yeah. He was just waiting for me to finish whatever crazy <laughs> stage <laughs> this was in my life. <laughs> So he could talk to me like a normal human being. The shit I used to get up to at night yeah. was just crazy. Like I come home from work, I'm gone. He, he, he'd say yeah. prayers. He's not yeah. even a religious man. Yeah. Like, where's he after? In that BMW. Like, yeah. I remember one time, this is how stupid I was. Stupid. This is not a BMW story. Just got it. Went to the cross, the two parous, which is just the cross. I, like, I leave my house, I go left, there's a crossroads. There was guards there. There was a bit of a cue to it. I thought it was acceptable. To just wander. <laughs> and I goes, there's such a queue here that I'm just going <laughs> that I'm just gonna go the back roads to Mallow, like because I couldn't be I, I couldn't be dealing with these fuckers, like, do you know what I mean? Well lads. A checkpoint. <laughs> a checkpoint. You thought, I had you a thought, checkpoint. You know, it's be acceptable to the I, term, I thought I thought they knew what I knew. I just left my house, I'm only going into town. Um, do you know what I mean? Well, lads, I didn't get to the fucking early bird now. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Up beside me, fucking telling me, pull in. Like, why, where are you going? Pat it up and down. Yeah. Pat it up and down. You yeah. won't mind that a jam, a pocket of well <laughs> <laughs> that I completely <laughs> forgot about. And then fucking, and then, uh, yeah, and they didn't find a jam in my pocket. It was in my pocket, like, do you know what I mean? And, uh, I, and oh, I called him, sir. And he thought I was getting cheeky. 
I was like, oh, sorry, sir. He goes, what did you say? Yeah. I said, I addressed you as sir. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? Like, they thought I was just riffing into yeah. but really, I was tick stupid. Yeah. Like, I was just stupid. <laughs> I, was, I was like, kid, I didn't know you couldn't do that. Like, just like, yeah, you want. Yeah. He goes, of course you can't fucking do that. Like, yeah. do you think we see BMWs fucking yeah, spinning yeah. around and driving down the road? Do you think, oh, he's off to see his mem? Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously so it's something true, bad, like. mate. Like, like, do you know what? I give guards an awful doing and yeah, I've listed like, several yeah. stories tonight where yeah. they have been the heroes. Stand to my life. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Protect and serve. <laughs> Oorah. <laughs> Oorah. They've the been, they've been, been yeah, they've been more than fair with you. And like. the shit I more said to him, even there, like you know, like even saying to him, like, like there's one girl in Mallow now, and she is, even I'm 30 now. I did some shit when I was 17. The Bure won't let me drive down the road without pulling me out the car. Mm. Doesn't matter who I'm with. I could be with my girlfriend, my dad, my mm. mother, my mm. sister. Pull me out, boy. Mm. Pull me the fuck out. Like, what's happening, mm. mister? Like, I'm just mm. like, oh, yeah. Mm. I have to play all night, sir, because when mm. I was 17, <laughs> I gave it back twice <laughs> in my life. As she found a button bag in my car as well that was literally for buttons. <laughs> it wasn't for anything else. Like, and she goes, we're sending it to the lab. And then next time she pulled me out, she goes, we found something in the lab. I goes, what'd she find? Yeah. Buttons. Yeah. It was buttons. <laughs> I'm fucking telling you. I know what it looks like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I said it to her. I goes, I got the D3 and pass Irish as well. I said, <laughs> I said that to her one day. I goes, I goes, I would pass the fitness test. She said something about me smoking a fag and not putting it out while she was talking. Yeah. I was like, I goes, I passed the fitness test to the guards yeah. while smoking a fag. Yeah. And I said, and I got a D three and pass Irish. Yeah. I goes, I could have done it like yeah, that. Yeah. And the Bjors, it didn't th- nah, well. even didn't to this day, because she's putting me out of cars, yeah, man. Yeah. I still apologise to her. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. One time I was in my dad's car, which is a serious yoke, and I was coming down from a gig in Cork. And she was at a checkpoint. I was like, let this bitch see me inside this car. Let this bitch see me inside this car, boy. Yeah, she yeah. looked through the thing. I was there giving her a fucking mean mug and back, boy. She even come over to my window that time. I was like, that's right. That's right. <laughs> well, in my car, I was acting like I made it to better things. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck Brilliant. Sick. But, uh, Brilliant. Fuck the punk ass police. <laughs> No, <laughs> they, like they, they've lit me off with so yeah, much. Yeah, you're after turning to me, boy. I think they're actually they're they're, they're good people. Oh, they're good people. Every family boy. should have one. Yeah, it's true. Every family should have one. Yeah, that's true. Like a doctor. There like a doctor. Well, one if you can, family. I don't think that's a choice. But like my family, I tried to get my little brother to become a guard. You know, you you could yeah, cox yeah. Connor into whatever yeah, the fuck you want. Yeah, to, yeah, like, you know, yeah. the poor creator. Yeah, doctor. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. huh? Can you imagine him coming into a long court? Like, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me look under the banners. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, boy, so that's my BMW story. Yeah, like, that's an epic tale, kid. Epic tale. I didn't realize I had such a, a climax of an. Me Indian neither. Until I started realizing all that was yeah. happening. I actually haven't even thought yeah. about that. Like, it was, a, it was a, it was a time in your life. That it car. was a time. Mo- yeah, 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 it was. It was. A, it was a yeah a moment a vibe. Um. It's amazing, kid. You can get you can get a smell that will bring you back yeah, to that yeah. moment in time. Yeah, you, yeah. you get you hear something, a song. Yeah. Do you know? Like I remember, I hate this fucking song, and I hate this band, and I hate people that actually even like going to it. Jesus Christ! Right? Christ, Christ. <laughs> Black hell. Barrel, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. Um, fish go deep. Have you ever heard yeah, of anybody? I've Do you like them? No, I, I, I couldn't tell you any of their songs, but just the people I know that like yeah, them. Yeah. Okay, fish go deep. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what was their first song that was on the radio all the time, boy? Uh, anyway, when house that... House music. It's like house music, yeah. kid, but it used to... You're in the car. Doom, 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 doom. You're in the My only flower. Doom, doom, doom. I can't sing it. But anyway, it was that kind of fucking vibe and it, like right. a, a, a 13-year-old girl singing over it. Right. And that's what all the boys were going up to the Savoy to see. Anyway, mm. when that song was out, my life was going like that. All right. Do you know? All right. Yeah. That was your era. That was my your era. Your wild era. My wild era. I wouldn't say that. was just stupid, kid. Stupid. like. Just for the listeners, what did you move on to after a black BMW? Like, Did you wise up a bit? and, and Or did that type of... Yeah, I bought, I bought a 308 Peugeot uh, with the 1.6 TDI engine. The one that's in my fucking Citroen Berlingo now. And the one that I will have in every fucking car <laughs> that I ever drive for the rest of my life. 1.6 TDI. Yeah. She smells. She's rusty. Just make a night champ. She'll go. She'll just fucking go. I know nothing about cars. 1.6 TDI. It's yeah. in a Ford Focus. It's in a Corolla. It's in a Citroen Berlingo. Yeah. It's in a Peugeot Partner. They yeah. all walk fucking drive the yeah. shit out of them. And that's the only yeah. engine I will buy right now. Yeah. What for my own car? I'm obviously in the market for a bigger car right now due to the Baba coming along. Yeah. So, yeah. 
you're you're gonna get a, a space wagon, a, a soccer mom's I was car, actually looking a Volvo. At, yeah, I was looking at Volvo. Oh, they're lovely. I'm actually looking at cars differently you now. Like I'm like looking yeah, at yeah. like you know that would be yeah. lovely. I'm having one baby. I yeah, need to. Act, yeah. Why am I looking at these Chrysler seven seaters? Like? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> what the fuck? But um, yeah, I obviously my girlfriend drives a micro at the moment where the heating and the window wipers don't work, so we can only drive it on a summer's day. Two essentials. Like, Two. Yeah. yeah. Well, in the summer, no, you yeah. don't need any of them, then do you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's my summer. Car, it was like. a rough Christmas, kid. <laughs> trying to get up to Tipperary, like, yeah, yeah. Praying that it don't yeah, fucking yeah. rain, like. Yeah. Wearing three jackets, like. Yeah. And you'd have to leave the window open to stop them from fogging up, like, because that was your only thing, like. You may, you may as well be on the bike, like. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I drove some shitty cars, like. Yeah. yeah. Good times, good times. But yeah, moved on to Peugeot 308 that ironically died the day it passed its NCT. So you asked me there, it goes, ah, oh, two, two years out of its NCT. This is the first car I ever brought to the NCT. Watched it, passed, drove home, dead. Brought it to the mechanic. I was like, sure, just pass the NCT. Yeah, so yeah. it's only going to be something small. Yeah. The mechanic turned to me, head full of mud, and he goes to me, kid, <laughs> better off getting something else. <laughs> By what it would cost to fix this piece of shit. Piece of shit. I, I love this car. I thought it was a yeah. great car. It was way yeah. better than my last car. No, yeah. piece of shit, kid. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I hate when mechanics <laughs> say shit to you about your pride and joy. Yeah. It's like, oh, all yeah. right, yeah. Well, you're a piece of shit. That's yeah. all you beg. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's brilliant. all. That's all. Stick for. That's absolutely brilliant, boy. Epic stories. Do we? Do we? We've nearly an hour done, kid. That fucking flew. I did, boy. Do you have any questions? Do you have any for the studio or for the live? But for the people at home. Uh, no. I I was delighted. I was able to turn up. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Cheers, boy. Yeah. We'll keep, Happy we'll birthday to Donald. We'll keep, we'll keep her lit. Psychic we'll keep Donald. Her lit. Do you know, actually, I saw, I saw on, on the Apple thing that your episode during the week was your 200th. What's this it? podcast. Nice. Yeah. So this podcast is hitting milestones, kid. Milestones. It started in uh, a van down an old country road. Yeah. And yeah. look at you now, Look boy. at us now. All Red fo- microphone All Hollywood and shit. All Hollywood and shit, kid. Do you know what? Really enjoy the podcast. Really like it. Um, it helps comedy because when you're writing about soccer, you're getting the juices flowing anyway. You're learning to uh, write things, put things in structure. Big shout out to my girlfriend, Jessica, for editing all the shorts and all the videos that we do. Yourself for coming over all the time doing it. I really enjoy it, boy. And um, I like seeing it grow as well. And hopefully in 10 years' time, it'll be something beautiful. But if not, it's always good to hang out and have the chats and vents. You know Absolutely, I mean? man. Absolutely. All in good fun. All in good fun. So, guys, that's the quiz. I hope... Uh, you got five out of five out there. I, I feel like I... Sh- I think I ended up getting two, did I? What did uh, I get? You got more than two. You got, got you got Brad Friedel um, oh, yeah. and you got Mo Salah. Yeah. Yeah, you got the Italians. So the only ones you didn't get was the Stevie G Club captain one and uh, the, assists. the assists. So I got three out of five. So let me know if you got five out of five, guys. Um, please like and subscribe to the YouTube. If not, tell a friend about it that can like and subscribe. Uh, give the Spotify rating five stars. All that. You know the jazz. I've been talking to you. Far too long about this. Uh, Psychic Dane, thank you. Thanks for having me, man. Peace and love, y'all. Peace and love.